Hello everyone, I'm Armstrong Williams. You know, being consistently successful and making things happen instead of wondering what happens requires so much discipline. People have no idea, yeah, yeah, maybe you do, what it takes to maintain a standard of excellence. You know, just like today. You know, because I'm in the real estate, I have a lot of properties. I get these tons, tons of tax bills because I individually pay my personal bills. I get tons of them, maybe about 30 envelopes. And to go through the square and lot to record that along with the amount for parking spaces, for properties, what you, and for bid taxes, what you have to do with the government to stay legal, it's unbelievable. But literally, I... I when I, I had kept looking at this pile, and I just did not want to start it. And then I said to myself, this is not like you. You've got to do it. So literally, I sat down and opened every envelope, wrote out every check, put in every square and lot, fill out every back envelope, indicating that none of the addresses have changed. It literally took me two and a half hours of my day to get it done. The point is, if I were delinquent in getting that done, I would be delinquent on my taxes because the D.C. Office of Tax and Revenue gives you literally no leeway. So there's this big story in the paper today about how the elderly are just being fleeced by these, these municipalities that turn over the collection of taxes um, to these outside companies and where somebody may owe $194 in taxes, by the time these companies come in with lawyer fees and other layers of fees, the fee could be $3,000. And how are these people losing their houses for no reason at all? And on top of that, many of these people pay, but it's not reflected on the records in these municipalities. It's, so, it's just so crazy. And so I can relate to it so well because I have to sit and pay my taxes. And it takes so much. And, you know, I do it. I do it. I usually pay them a month in advance. And normally what happens, they give you until September 30th. But this time, I only received the taxes maybe last week, and I have until September 15th to pay. These taxes are astronomical on properties in Washington, D.C. I'm sorry they are. You know, so it really makes me feel sad for people how the government is shirking their responsibilities, hire outside contract, and they just fleece these people, bankrupt them, because their only goal is to take their prof property and make a profit. This has to stop. I wish you would open up the Washington Post and, receive, and read their three-part series on this real estate fraud. It's just unbelievable. But, but then, the point I'm making in terms of my discipline, we have to be responsible. I can understand if a 76-year-old who has dementia, 80-year-old uh, mother, grandmother, cannot follow the process of getting it done and something and the ball drops. There should be special, special considerations given to these people. I'm sorry. It just, it just angered me when I read those articles. But my point is also that you too have to be responsible. Sometimes you just don't want to write out the envelopes. Sometimes you don't want to pay the bill. And sometimes you don't have the money to pay the bill. But you've got to let somebody know the D.C. government and other municipalities may screw up. But it doesn't mean you have to screw up and shirk your responsibilities. You've got to pay your bills on time. If you cannot pay them on time, you call um, the entity that you owe the money to. And I'm sure they will work with you. All of us have to be involved in that process. I'm Armstrong Williams. It's just a lesson about discipline and handling your bills handling your responsibilities. Because when I was growing up, when the bills would come into the house, my mother would not wait. We would pay those bills immediately. Because you could forget, you could get distracted, something could happen. I pay my bills ahead of time. So I can avoid delinquency, uh, avoid my slipping of mind. Uh, anything can happen. And it's not intentional or malicious where you don't pay the bill and you pay a huge price as a result of it. Pay your bills on time. If you can't pay your bills on time, call the institution that you owe money to and work something out so the situation doesn't uh, multiply and you find yourself in a in, in mountain debt that you just can't get yourself out of. I'm Armstrong Williams.